WWE's top dollar says that Hit Row was one of Triple H's top priorities to bring back. Drew McIntyre was pulled off of WWE Weekend's live events due to a back injury. AEW's Chris Statlander to have surgery for torn ACL and meniscus injuries. Hey there everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest, so let's get right to it. The morning after their return to WWE, Hit Row's Top Dalla spoke to Busted Open Radio about the process in bringing them back. Top Dalla said that he and Paul Triple H Levesque had kept in communication even after the group was released and Levesque was no longer in WWE. He had sent Levesque clips of he and Ashante Adonis working indies and talked about working together again in the future. Levesque reached out on Wednesday of last week to gauge their interest in returning and how quickly they could be back. The three had a Zoom call with the new head of creative to discuss plans and then had physicals and contracts this week. He said, quote, We were one of the top priorities to get back because he knew what we could bring to the table. Top Dalla, Adonis, and B-Fab returned to action on Friday SmackDown with Dalla and Adonis picking a tag team win over two enhancement talents. The trio, in addition to then-team member Isaiah Swerve Scott, were released in November 2021 in one of WWE's many rounds of pandemic cuts. Swerve Strickland eventually signs with AEW and is one half of the AEW Tag Team Champions. Top Dalla acknowledged some of the rumors that his interactions with Vince McMahon following BFAB's initial release were the reason for their eventual release. People love to say I'm hard to work with, I'm not, I'm hard to fool, saying that there were a myriad of reasons that they were all released. He then praised Triple H for bringing all three talents back as there were a hundred wrestlers that he could have done that with. Regarding any previous heat, Dallas said that Triple H told him he didn't know what happened before and didn't care, and it's a new place and they have a clean slate on the second go around. Top Dallas said, quote, It was a breath of fresh air. I was down when we got released. Hit Row was hotter than anything in wrestling, period. I don't care who you are. Get your feelings hurt if you want. When we got released, I feel we had something great, and it turned into ashes in my hand. It made me stop watching wrestling for the first time in my life. I went eight months without watching wrestling. Some more WWE news. Drew McIntyre, the next challenger to WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns, has been pulled off of this weekend's live events. Jason Powell of Pro Wrestling Net first reported the news saying it's a precautionary move due to lower back soreness. Fightful confirmed and further added McIntyre had been dealing with a rough back injury that requires additional rest. McIntyre is still expected to challenge Reigns in the main event of next month's Clash at the Castle in Cardiff, Wales. No surgery is currently expected. He is scheduled to have a face-to-face -face with Roman Reigns at this Friday's SmackDown in Montreal, Quebec, Canada to continue to build up their September 3rd main event. And now moving on to some AEW news. Two days after confirming that she suffered another knee injury, AEW's Chris Statlander posted a workout video where she went into detail about the injuries and that she will need surgery. In the audio of the Instagram video, Statlander said she suffered a completely torn ACL and lateral meniscus. This is me doing legs with a completely torn ACL and lateral meniscus. Um, less than a week after it happened. Actually, no, it's been exactly a week. Uh, don't have a surgery date yet. We'll soon, we'll soon, bye. The timeline for the surgery is currently unknown. That's your quick news roundup for today. As always, don't forget to subscribe to F4W online and I'll see you next week. Bye everyone. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling.